What's up, you guys? ASD Classified here. So, after watching today's episode of Mega Force, all I have to say is this. Boy, was that Unmore fight good. Like, that Unmore fight was killer. Oh, man. Especially the scenes with Jake and Jill working together to fight the Lugies. Oh, man. I loved it. And that part where she jumped in the air to kick that Lugie to stop it from hurting Jake. Like, bravo. Bravo. Like, that action, it had me going. Everything else about the episode, yeah, they, they could have kept it. They could have kept all of it. Mm. So in this episode, Troy finally told the other Rangers about his vision dreams he's been having. Finally. I mean, he didn't wait until episode 15 like I thought it was, so I guess I should give him some props there. But still, that is no excuse for waiting this long. Like, no excuse. I mean, I don't want to hear, what did he say? He said, like, oh, my dreams were fuzzy, that's why I didn't bring them. No, you didn't bring it up because you're an idiot. Okay, there's no excuse. Like, absolutely none. So, shut up. So, Monster shows up to attack the city. Rangers show up to fight the monster. Robo Knight shows up to fight the monster. Robo Knight gives no fuss about protecting any of the people in the area. Robo Knight then gets kidnapped by said monster. Then, Varak and said monster drain the energy out of Robo Knight so that they can reprogram him for evil. Rangers show up, they save Robo Knight, and they get Robo Knight to understand that humans aren't bad and teamwork is awesome and all that crap. Then they defeat the monster, Robo Knight summons two other Zords, and then he combines with these Zords to form Gosei Grand Megazord. He defeats the monster on his own, then at the end, Robo Knight is like, oh, I kind of like you guys, but I still want to work on my own, and the episode ends. Whatever. Yeah, I didn't care about this episode at all. If you want to see this episode done way better, you can watch the Lost Galaxy episode of Sunflower Search. Yes, the episode where our brilliant villains thought that the powerful likes of Orion were hitting in sunflower statues was better than this. If I actually cared about the plot of this episode, then I probably would have liked it. But I don't. I don't care to see Robo Knight learn about the true meaning of friendship and how great humans are. I really don't care about that storyline. Like, not at all. And I feel that it's just going to go on until the end of Mega Force. So, fuck that. Anyway, in other news, I have finally started watching Kyoto Yuja. Yes, the new Dinosaur Super Sentai. Yes, I finally got into the game. And I watched, I think, episodes 1 through 5. And I'm really digging it so far. Like, I mean, it's so weird. It's so weird. Like, I didn't think I would like this that much, but I am. I mean, it's so weird, and they're kind of throwing, like, a bunch of story elements at you, but not really explaining too much, but I'm willing to keep watching until they do explain. Like, I'm really interested, so it's doing its job, and I like all the Rangers, and I like how they are just, like, we're watching these first five episodes where they come together as a team. Like, they, just, they didn't just start off like, oh, yes, teamwork, we love each other. No, they're working towards being friends, and I like it. Like, episode two, like, they didn't want to reveal their identities, and the Blue Ranger was like, I don't want to reveal my identity because I might put my family in danger by the enemy. You know, I like that. It's a good reason, you know? And then episode three, they, you know, the Green Ranger came closer to everybody else, and I think... I probably relate the most to the Green Ranger in terms of personality anyway, so, you know, and he's pretty cool. And the episode four is when the Black Ranger finally got on board with everybody in the team, and I really like that one too. And the black one is a ladies man, and I love how they were in the restaurant place, whatever, and he had like his new chick of the week. And while she was laying on him, he's over here flirting with the Pink Ranger, so I'm like, yeah, you're going to be dating me next too. Like, wow. And the chick that he's with isn't saying a thing like, wow, that is straight pimping status right there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying Kyoto Like, it's really cool. And they freaking dance to morph. Like, that is the weirdest crap I've ever seen, but I like it. <laughs> oh my god, people are dying. Kyoto change. <laughs> so yes. What did you guys think of today's episode of Mega Force? So let me know if you're watching this video. And if you're watching Kyoruja, what do you think about that show so far? Yep. Later, you guys. Jamata. I still miss Go Busters, though. Like, I really miss that season. And I was planning, like, on making a video talking about my thoughts on it, but I don't know how many people care about that anymore since it's been over for a while. I don't know, and apparently that season wasn't that popular, like, I don't know, but I loved it, though, so. Man, I miss it, and I miss the skate. Kochi ga gogute. Kochi ga makuku. Soshite watashi wa eskepu. Sugoku ii mono yo.